Hello YouTube and welcome to Zulala. Today we're answering the age-old question, can anything live forever? Or more importantly, can I? Q titles. Now let's start with some philosophy. We'll never actually know if anything can live forever because just like infinity, we'll never reach it. But we can show you some of our earthly companions that might come close. Take the giant tortoises. These guys all evolved in island ecosystems without any predators to worry them. It turns out that when your life isn't in peril 24-7, you don't have to rush around trying to have as much sex as possible to try and spread your genes. That kind of behavior takes up a lot of energy. Giant tortoises take a more sedentary approach, mating when the opportunity arises and otherwise living life with blissful ease. That is until humans arrived. The long, slow life of the giant tortoise meant that they couldn't adapt to the rapid changes brought about by humans, and they've swiftly climbed the endangered list. But for the humans that looked after them instead of eating them, they found that they lived extraordinarily long lives. One Aldabran tortoise that died in 2006 in Kolkata was roughly 255 years old. That means it was born a quarter of a century before the Declaration of American Independence. It's seen 44 presidents come to term, outliving 39 of them. Ah. The great nation of America, younger than a tortoise. So the tortoise is impressive, sure, but just like every other creature on the planet, they eventually succumb to the ravages of aging and die. I guess that's why they call it natural causes, right? Well, just try telling that to the lobster. This familiar and tasty crustacean doesn't appear to show any signs of aging at all. What we do know is that lobsters can live for at least a century and in theory, maybe much, much longer. They produce a large amount of an enzyme called telomerase, which basically helps their DNA stay young and healthy. And this agelessness trick or negligible senescence may be much closer for us than we think, and I don't mean your lobster ravioli. Telomerase is just one of the many biological strategies that humans are pinching from the natural world. In fact, one eminent Cambridge scientist believes we're just 20 years away from the reality ourselves, forever postponing the signs of aging. However, there's one animal that takes it one step further it doesn't just stop the aging process, it completely reverses it, yo-yoing back and forth on its own timeline. A bit like Benjamin Button, but without the special effects. Or Brad Pitt. Anyway, it's aptly named the Immortal Jellyfish. This tiny jellyfish was first discovered over 100 years ago, but it's only recently making the headlines. Originally native to Caribbean waters, it's now found in oceans all across the world which led to one researcher calling it a worldwide silent invasion. In fact, it's such a silent invasion, we don't actually have any footage of them. So here's some other jellyfish, so you get the picture. It can switch from the familiar free swimming bell-shaped jellyfish, known as a medusa, to its more youthful polyp stage, which looks like a gelatinous flower anchored to the seabed, and then back again. They can turn any one cell into another type of cell. Just imagine, being able to turn skin into bone, or bone into hair, or for that matter, hair into muscles. Something I obviously wouldn't have to go for. It's a pretty freaky thought, but it could lead to quick and easy organ repairs at the switch of a gene. So maybe we could live forever, perpetually rebuilding our bodies. But it does beg the question, would you really want to? Let us know in the comments box below along with any other questions, but make it snappy because life's too short. See you next time on Zulala. Now this agelessness or negligible... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously something that I would have to go for. <laughs> do you want to... Do you want to be a director's laugh in the background? But yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with that or do you want to clean? No, no, that's cool, I think. All right.